Good morning children. Today we will talk about the plants. Plants have different shape and sizes. Some plants are very tall and big. Some are of your height while some are very small. Some plants are very big and tall. They have a strong, hard and woody stem. They have many branches. They live for many years. They are called as trees. Like in the story we saw, the birds build their nest on a tall tree. Some plants are very small. They have soft, weak and thin stems. They live for short time. They are called as herbs. We get vegetables, fruits and herbs from these plants. For example, mint plant, basil plant, coriander, etc. In the story, a lot of area of the forest was covered by the grass, which is also a herb. Some plants are taller than the herbs but smaller than the trees. They have hard and woody stem which cannot be broken easily. They are called as shrubs. The branches of a shrub grow close to the ground. They grow for many years. For example, hibiscus, bougainvillea, etc. Like in the story, the rose plant was a shrub. Stems of some plants are very thin and long. They are so thin that they cannot stand straight. They need support to grow. So they climb on other trees or on a wall or a stick. Usually the stem has small hooks or tendrils which wind around the support. As they climb on others, they are known as climbers. For example, money plant and grape vine are climbers. Like in the story, the small plant which grew near the tree and later encircled the whole tree was a climber. There are some plants which have thin and weak stems. They cannot bear the heavy weight of the fruits and vegetables that grow on them. So instead of climbing, they creep on the ground surface and spread over a long distance. As they creep on the ground, they are known as creepers. Do you remember in the story the mouse was eating a pumpkin? The pumpkin is so heavy that the plant's weak stem will break if the plant tries to stand straight or climb using some support. So the pumpkin plant was creeping on the ground. Some plants have thorns on them. They are called as thorny plants. Why do they have thorns? These thorns protect the plant from the plant eating animals. Most animals do not eat thorny plants. Do you know some more plant with thorns? Cactus and lemon are some other thorny plants. Like in the story, Mrs. Mouse was hurt by a thorn when she plucked the rose from the plant. But she did like the rose for its good smell, right? We know plants have different shapes and sizes. But have you noticed that the leaves of plants also have different shapes and sizes? Some plants have big leaves and some plants have small leaves. If you observe carefully, 
the shape of the leaves also varies from plant to plant but mostly the color of the leaves will be green so this is for now bye bye children